Welcome back to the new adventure. I'm Monica and I am dragging John Michael along with me today on a project for our hobby farm. Here we go. I've been trying to figure out how I'm going to do some trellising in my raised bed. I've been watching a fantastic YouTuber by the name of Roots and Refuge and she was talking about using cattle panels to make like arch trellises between like two raised beds. So what I think I have an idea of what we're going to do. I think we're going to go from one my largest raised bed over to the chicken coop and kind of make an arch trellis there. So we're at Tractor Supply now. We're going to get a couple of cattle panels and we need some T-post, but otherwise pretty um, inexpensive project. I wonder what the difference is in a hog panel. Thickness of a gate. Maybe we should get some hogs. Huh. I just have to test them every once in a while. Oh, look at these. These are really long. Yeah, I don't know that we need them that long. We actually have some woven fence wire still at the house from a project that we did. Um, so what we're going to try to do, instead of using the cattle panels uh, just to save on cost, is to get a few T-posts. We're going to do six foot T-posts and put them in to try to support some of the wire that we have. And the way our thing is designed, we're going to try to go from the raised bed over to the chicken coop. So we will see if this works. So if we get... What if we get four of those and do two and two? Is that what you're thinking? That's the plan, lady. That's the plan. Okay. That's why I bring you along. I would help you, but I gotta film. <laughs> oh, man, stop with that thing. What we ended up doing was getting four six and a half foot T posts. And we're gonna put those in the raised bed. We'll put the hog wire over that we'll connect it to the top of the chicken coop and then I'm gonna grow probably some beans and some um, cucumbers things like that up and over and that will also add shade into the chicken coop because the way that the Sun goes across the Sun comes in from that side so that'll give them some shade as well y'all ever had these wild cherry candies that they sell down at the tractor supply I'm addicted to them John Michael is addicted these are so bad for your teeth just saying but anyway I'm eating one. I'm not dipping, just so y'all know. I hadn't started that. I'm, I'm not that. Tournament. I'm not that far gone from essential life. So what is that? Six. That's thirteen feet. That's thirteen feet. Okay. Obviously, it won't be as high, but I can't make it round because. But we could tuck like this. part of it down into the. Absolutely, that's what I plan to. Thing, make it so, a bit more secure. What my plan is, I'm gonna put the post probably on the back side and then the wire up against the post and then bring it up over get the height we want to and tie it back down to this and I can anchor it using the wood and the metal we have less than we thought we had of the wire left over so if we don't have enough we will have to get a cattle panel but we're gonna try to make do with what we've got and save a little bit of money so we'll see what we can do so I recommend that you always wear gloves when you're messing with wire fencing and watch your face because it can cut you anywhere. It's really sharp once you cut it. Yeah, it can be tricky, so just be careful. It's very sharp. Ouch! You good? Yeah, it's stabbing the leg. Good thing I got pants on. We got really lucky and found two pieces of wire left over that were exactly the size that we needed. So Maggie, what do you feel about this project? You like it? Y'all ask us about our farm dogs and um, they're not farm dogs at all. These are actually, we have golden doodles um, and I actually did a video on them about, how long ago was that Mags? Maybe six months ago? Anyway, I'll link it down in the description box below if you want to know all about our dogs. Right Mags? What do you think? Yeah. So putting these little clips on is a little bit of a booger, but we're figuring it out. So with these clips, you hook your short side first, then your long side through this guy. This little tool we found to be quite helpful when we do this.
and this side helps you snug it up. We are putting our fence sideways, and I've noticed the tool does not want to work quite as easy this direction. The tolerances are a little tighter, but we're able to get it pretty snug. In an attempt to critter-proof our chicken cage, I left the wire hanging with spikes off of it. I'm using what I left hanging to secure this to it. Just every few, I'm wrapping them around it. And in my mind, that's gonna hold it. We shall see, but I feel pretty good about it. Obviously, if you don't have a chicken coop on the other side of your garden, you could just put more T-post on the other side. So I had to push back my cabbages a little bit to fit this one in, but it won't be too much longer until I'm harvesting them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of push them back and then get my other plants started on this side is where I'm gonna grow the vines. Look at that. Weeds on my trellis already. And now we have two trellises for under $20. And we used some of the old materials that we had laying around. So I think it's a win. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something along the way. We looked forward to taking you along and showing you what grows on this trellis. Okay, so. Rude. Rude this. All right, so we've created this truck. <laughs> trying to talk to them to figure out which one's the problem. But they're not talking back. I watched that Dr. Doolittle movie the other day and I figured I'd give it a shot. Take a toe. Take it real good. <laughs> she got it right on it. Here, chicka, 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 chicka. Hey, sweet boy. Rocket man. So this lady I've been watching, she also has some alpacas. They're super cute. I think we need some. They're four-legged animals, right? Uh, depends. <laughs> if anybody has a three-legged alpaca. Nope. Keep it. <laughs> that needs rescuing. Keep it. You heard him, it has to only be a four-legged no. animal. Animals. Measure. <laughs>